Welcome into the DML Network. It's your boy, Expert, and it's time for the DML Madden Live Draft. And you know I don't do these shows I'm on. I got two of the OGs with me. First up, it's the bus in the building. What's good, bus? What's going on, man? Let's get it. Hey, let's get it. And of course, you know, we got Sweets 99 in the building. What's good, Sweets? What's good? What's good? We back, baby. Hey, man, it's that time of year. Madden 24 is on the shelf. It's done. It's time for Madden 25. Of course, we're all hyped for college football coming out this week. We got the live draft. A lot of things going on here in the DML. And bus and sweets, when we look at Madden now with college football coming out first, does that temper the expectations for Madden? Or are we just as excited for Madden 25, bus? Man, I ain't going to tell you no lie. I'm just as excited for, for Madden 25 as I am from NCAA, but I got to give the NCAA the edge because it's been over a decade since we had it, so. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, Sweets, you know, you, you took TCU with your home team for college football, but did that kind of sway your decision for Madden 25? You got the team you wanted, so now you can just have fun in Madden 25 with the team you picked? Nah, nah, man. I'm a fan. I'm going to stay a fan. So if I can get my boys, I'm going to get my boys. You know what I mean? Okay, so if the Patriots is there, we take it to Patriots. I got it. I like that. I like that philosophy. Might as well have both your teams in both leagues. I like it. But let's just jump into it. Now, guys, some guys are going to be here live on the show selecting their picks. Some guys are not available, so they're going to phone it in. It's okay. We'll get through all 32 of these picks today and figure out who's going to match up in these divisions, who's got the edge coming out the gate, and then we'll – uh. We'll see where it goes. Obviously, the first pick is off the board, right, Bus and Sweets? The commish, nasty nuke with those Falcons came off the board first. I love that process. But first up, it's Andy Force. Andy had the first pick. And is Andy a call-in or is he a phone-in user? Phone-in. Mm, so, Bus, I, I don't want to waste a lot of time with guys that didn't get on the show. No, no disrespect to those guys. They probably got things going on. You know, they got things to take care of but who is andy force taking with the number one pick bus all right so we already said nasty new got the falcons andy is taking and taking his talents to the houston texans with mm. pretty much uh, number one overall pick wow first overall pick sweets does that surprise you the texans come off early absolutely man i expected 49ers and always 49ers that's crazy but that's, that's going to be good, man. Texans going to be nice this year. Texans going to be nice. All right. Next up is AJ. And I think AJ was also a phone-in, wasn't he, Bus? Yeah, AJ was a phone-in, man. He's over there uh, doing some type of uh, football tournament, man. So he just hit me up and said he won't be able to uh, call in live. All right, Bus. Who is AJ taking with the number two pick in the DML Live Draft? Man, y'all know that little that little Rocky statue? <laughs> y'all know where it's at? I, I would make my, my eagle sound, but I might run everybody out the chat. So he going he going back to Philly, man. Going time. back to wow. Philly. Sweets. Now he takes Philadelphia. That's an interesting team. They got a lot of talent on that team. Jalen Hurts, a quarterback. They got some some great wide receivers. They bring in Saquon Barkley. Is that the team to look out for? Especially with, you know, with AJ taking them. It's always the team to look out for. Uh, I feel like in the top 15, maybe about 10 guys got the Eagles on their board. So I would, I'm, it's going to be uh, very surprising and very uh, interesting what the other guys go in from here. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bus, the number three pick belongs to you. I don't really know. Like, nobody listening to this is really going to be surprised with any of these kind of picks. Bus, where are you going for Madden 25? Hey, I'm, I'm going to make my pick short and sweet. I don't know where I'm going. I really ain't going nowhere. I'm just renovating, getting a bigger place right here in <laughs> Chicago, man. Okay, so the question I got, you, you got you got Caleb Williams. Is that the – did that cement the pick or you were taking the Bears no matter what? Nah, I was taking the Bears no, the Bears no matter what, no matter what, man. The only thing I'm trying to – I'm really contradicting around is that I paint my fingernails or – nah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna get no no white fingertips, but I might get a little clear coat on there. You know what I'm saying? Sweets, uh, over under that this man bus paints his fingernails for game one. Not a, not a chance in hell. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. 
Pick number four belongs to Easy E, and he's in the building. What's up, Easy? What's going on, fellas? All right, man. You got a top five pick. Were you expecting that going into high stakes? Uh, not expecting necessarily, but I was hoping to make a playoff run. I thought I built my team up, you know, leading into high stakes. I thought I had us in a good position. Um, we made a couple playoff runs, finally won the division in high stakes and took care of business there and managed to get a playoff win against you. Oh, really? We taking shots at the host? So, hey, that's my first playoff win. I, I got to celebrate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, my guy, Easy, you had the Colts in Madden 24. You built a powerhouse there. You felt really good about that team. But go ahead. Let us know from Madden 25, where is Easy taking his talents to? Well, you know, I like to sling the ball around, so I might as well go with the best quarterback in the league and go with those Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, mm. I thought you were about to say the Cowboys. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, the Chiefs. Oh, they do got a good quarterback there. All right, so <laughs> you, you talk about Patrick Mahomes. Obviously, they got Taylor Swift's boyfriend there as well. Absolutely. Um, are you concerned about that defense, though, getting a little up in age, don't really have a lot of talent on that defense? Yeah, they, yeah, they are, but I think they're secondary solid. You know, they, you know, obviously yep. they got Jones up front. He's going to be, you know, tough to deal with, but uh, I really like the, the Mahomes and Kelsey, and I like the rookie worthy. I mean, he ran what a four two two forty in the in the combine, so you know yeah. he's going to be able to get the deep ball. So I like building him. Yeah, up. that that kid worthy coming out of University of Texas, he's going to be a barn burner for sure. Maybe another Tyree kill in that offense, especially when he's got a cannon back there in the backfield throwing to him. Just just run down the field, Patrick will find you. All right, easy exactly. prediction for Madden twenty five. Do you win your first dynasty Super Bowl with the Chiefs? I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We'll see. You know, I mean, I think I've gotten better at the game as the game's progressed, but every year, you know, it's a little bit different. So we'll see. I yep. got to learn how to run the ball first, though. So. All right. Appreciate Easy jumping on. Good luck with those Chiefs, man. And we'll see you in Madden 25. Appreciate it, fellas. Thanks. All right, man. All right. Next up, Bus and Sweets. It's the CIA agent himself, Mr. Hot Tub. Obviously, he's not calling in. Uh, he has to protect President Trump. Had a little incident yesterday. <laughs> so he's probably off taking care of that situation. So, uh, Sweets, where does Hot Tub go for Madden 25? Again, not a shocker here, right? Not a shocker at all. Uh, Cowboys all the way, right? I would imagine. Yeah, he's taking the Dallas Cowboys again. I can't stand that guy hot tub. Love him to death. That's my guy. But I can't stand him because he's always ahead of me taking my Cowboys. Uh, but it's okay. All right, bus. Next up, it's Vandy Champ. And uh, he's a phone in as well, isn't he? Yep, phone in. Uh, he man, had some client. He's standing right there. He he's dealing him. with, man. So he uh, didn't have right, the time to really jump on. And but, and this one shouldn't shock us either, right, bus? Where's Vandy going for Madden 25? And like, hey, he he just like me, you know what I'm saying? He just renovating and, and getting a bigger place. So, ain't in Baltimore, man, with, with Lamar Jackson and um, King James down there. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Vandy was very successful in Madden 24, was in the division with them. Very, very good user. <laughs> I said King James. I, I mean King Henry. Y'all know. Y'all know what I meant. I I expect. <laughs> I expect. Hey, anytime you bring up LeBron, it's all right. It's no big deal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know that's never a mistake. You know LeBron is the second greatest player of all time. So. Yes, sir. Uh, so Vandy was very successful in 24. Had the Ravens always in that top echelon. So excited to see what he can do in Madden 25. All right. Next up, it's the homie tight work. Tight work. Talk to me, man. What's up? What's up? What's up? Tight work is in the building. All right, let's just not wait tight. Where are you going? Um, Luther Campbell said he don't want to move, so he still own the Dolphins. He didn't sell them. And we going right back there to South Beach, man. Same old, same old. Every year, Dolphins is tight work. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> Well, I got in tight work. All right, so it's just one of those things where I I never forget the first draft we did when tight work came on, and tight work talked about himself in the third person, and said the Dolphins is selecting tight work, tight work not selecting. Dol it, I'll never forget that it was one of the funniest things we've had on the DML live draft. Uh, tight work is it's been a while since we've seen you raise a banner. Do do you raise a banner in Madden twenty five with those fans? Nah, oh, man, I'm too old. These young thongs that y'all added to the league, I can't keep up with them, man. I'm just happy making the playoffs and my first round exit. But we're going to give it our all. 
See, that's exactly what I love to hear because I feel the same way. I'm just an old head now at this point. I'm just trying to have fun, make it to the playoffs, maybe ruin somebody's somebody's year in the playoffs. I like that. Appreciate you tight. We're jumping on. I know you're working on the back end for us, taking care of some stuff for the draft. We'll move on to the next one. After tight work, it's the OG Chris Murray. Chris Murray in the building. What's good, Chris? Yo, what's going on, y'all? What's going on, fellas? All right, Chris Murray. Um, I just need to know. I know you, 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 you're doing your Dr. Dre thing right now, so we're not going to take a bunch of your time up. We want to make sure that you can get back to producing um, so you can take care of what you need to take care of. So let us know, OG. Where you going from Madden 25? Man, we gonna keep your, it. Dog, your, your Eagles is gone, so you can't take the Eagles. Listen, we're going to keep it clean, cut, simple. We staying fly. Madden 25 is how we going to be staying fly. And NCAA 25, man, we ain't doing nothing. We going right back to Seattle and bringing that Philly mm. spirit right back out there in Seattle, man. All right. Going back to the Seahawks. Good to hear. Bus, did that pick surprise you that he went to the Seahawks back, back home? Um... After one particular team got off the board, I was pretty sure he, he was going back to Seattle, man, with, with the 12th man. Yeah. Sweet. Is there another team you thought maybe Murray was going to pick? Obviously, uh, he was going. No, not really, man. Honestly, can we get somebody to shake it up a little bit? Uh, besides Andy, this is copy and paste, ain't it? Like, I mean, it really sounds like it, don't it? <laughs> we could have just changed the name of the last draft to this year. Yeah, yeah, we could have been just fine. Ain't nobody going nowhere. Let's yeah. find, let's bring, listen, let's bring Bruce in here. Bruce, Bruce in the building. You got pick Bruce. number nine. Yes, sir. Time to start the draft off, right? Yeah, please. Come on, man. I I, I need something to change. Some, <laughs> something, something to shake something up, Bruce. Please tell me you're not going back right where you was in 24. Absolutely not, man. Oh, I love um, to hear. I love to I hear. Know, I know you guys been watching the show Receiver on Netflix. I got a new <laughs> favorite player. Okay. Uh, former. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, for the former Mr. Universe's kid, I'm a Ross St. Brown. We rock with them Honolulu Blue Lions. Let's fucking wow. go. Wow. Okay, My man said it. Honolulu Blue. <laughs> Honolulu <laughs> so Blue, else? baby. Someone else besides Amon St. Brown that, that intrigued you about this team? Oh, man. Well, there is a 99-speed guy, too. I, I guess I should say him, Jameson Williams. Um, and they got a young defense, man. And We're going to get golf up out of there, draft a guy, and just see how it goes. That That's crazy. All right. Uh, Sweets, hey. was that the stuff you were thinking about? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I I couldn't see Bruce not going somewhere sunny. You know what I mean? I just I feel like Bruce is a sunshine team. He got to you know he got to get somebody. But up north is wild, man. That NFC North is gonna be crazy. Yeah, that NFC North. You got the Packers. You got the Bears with Bus. Bruce, you got Bus in that division now. What you what you think about that? That little matchup you got twice a year. That was a big draw, man. Like, to be honest with you, I played in a trash-ass division last year and only lost three games and only went to the Super Bowl once. And I think that was a direct correlation of me just playing pretty trash competition all the time. I mean, no disrespect, but it, it just it is what it is. So, Well, well kinda, Bruce, you got you to gotta mention who was in that division with you. Uh, Easy E, Flair, and JB. Damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you think you think tougher competition in regular season go, is going to get you ready for those playoff runs? Oh, for sure, for sure. Because I mean, let's be—I just didn't really have that many tough games outside of the first place schedule um, yeah. that was given to me outside of my division. So, I mean, it's, it sounds a little cocky, but it's the truth. We dealt with it for a year, so hey, I mean, I, I know the, me and Bus gonna be able to schedule games. So all I yeah, ask is yeah. for whoever comes in here. With the damn Packers and Vikings, be able to bring those schedule. I don't see there's certain people in here. I ain't gonna call them out now, but y'all know who I'm talking about. They better not bring their ass over to the north. <laughs> hey, 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 before yeah. you move on, I just yeah. want to put this out there because a lot of people may not know. So, yeah. When Bruce first came into the league, he was, I think he was the Lions, right, Bruce? Oh man, hey Jay, that actually goes back a long, long time. It goes back a long, long time ago. Still team. I didn't, really know Bruce that well. I, was yeah, like, I didn't really know Bruce that well. He came in here talking junk, talking shit. And me and him was going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? He beat me a couple games. I beat him a couple games. So, yeah. you know, it's good to come back and, you know, resurface that uh, 
at that little yeah. that little rivalry coming back. I love rivalry. to see it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's crazy how the things we want for Madden 25 are not competitive games. It's not you know rivalries. The number one thing on people's list is can you schedule a game before <laughs> seven o'clock at night so I'm not waiting up till 10 11 p.m. I got to work tomorrow. You trying to play hey, a late game? Hey, just, we getting old, bro. We getting old. <laughs> hey, or <laughs> it's like you give somebody a window, they don't say nothing for 12 hours, but then they decide to text you 15 minutes before your window is up. I'm like, oh yeah, why you send the invite? <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that. I, I know how me and Bus rock so. We just need two yeah. more people. The DML League offices close at 5 p.m. Eastern. Please make sure all communication is done before that. I love that. The old head league. I like it. All right, Bruce. Good luck with those Lions, man. Appreciate you coming here and shaking something up. Sweets, that's the shakeup you're looking for, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. The 10th pick happens to belong to your boy expert. And Bus and Sweets, I cannot believe that this team is still on the board at pick 10. This is absolutely ridiculous. So let's just not waste any time. We had the Browns last year. Love the Browns. Uh, hope, hope for success for them, whoever takes them in 25. But for 25, your boy expert is taking his talents to those San Francisco 49ers. Wow. Why are they still on the board, Sweets? Uh, I don't know, but uh, Schefter just reported that uh, Walter Christmas just dropped a disc record, and uh, he's pissed. <laughs> uh, he goes by the name of Dub C. <laughs> uh, that's tough. There is no way at pick 10 I could pass them up, Bus. Uh, how does the 49ers last this long? Well, I mean, the person that was there, you know, for the last couple of seasons, which was fourth, I mean, he went uh, he went another direction. So, yeah, yeah. Everybody else after that kind of like picked their favorite team. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you got a good team, man. All right. Next up, it's Marauder in the building. What's good, my guy? You got pick 11. How you doing today? Hey, man. I'm good. How y'all doing? Hey, What's we up, can't man? complain. All right, man. You got the 11th pick. A lot of good teams left on the board here. Are you surprised that your team is still here at pick 11? Uh, not especially, no. I, I expected them to go between 10 and 15. All right. Well, let us know for Madden 25 where you're going. Uh, to the Jets. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jets is a good team. Uh, what, what's what's the big draw for the Jets for you? Is, is it A Rod at quarterback, or no. is it my home? Is my homie Brees in that backfield? Yeah, uh, Brees is a huge selling point, but uh, I'm looking forward to letting Rodgers go ASAP. But I'm really looking forward to playing Tyler last year because I feel like me and him put on some bangers. I'm tired of him. I mean, how the playoffs? I'll have to get my guy Brees on the show one time so we can talk about your Jets. Uh, he, t he told me he's about to have a big year. Him and A-Rod about to tear up the AFC. So the Jets got a lot of good players. You got Sauce out there at corner. Uh, you got Garrett at wide receiver. There's some rumors going around. Devontae Adams may become a Jet at some point. Uh, you're hoping that happens before the first update. Because you if you if you had Devontae Adams and Garrett at wide receiver suites, what does that mean in Madden? Oh, man. <laughs> That's crazy to even think about. Uh, I don't know how you're going to find the cap, but for sure, that'd be crazy to think about. That's a, that's a fantasy team. All right, Marauder, we, we saw the Jets successful last year. Do we see that same success with them this year now that you're going to get a full year, full cycle underneath your belt? Uh, I hope so, but I don't think I'll be nearly as good as AJ was. So I just do my best. All right, man. Well, appreciate you jumping on the show. We'll let you get back to your day. The Jets. Going right there at pick number 11. Yes. Centaur in the building. What's up, Centaur? What's happening, my brother? Hey, what's going on? Hopefully you're having a great day. You get to pick at pick 12. Did you expect to be this high picking for the live draft at pick 12? I, I think I'll be somewhere mid-range uh, coming in at the last season. Uh, we finally a slow start in high stakes, but once I started learning the playbook with the new rules, we went on a nice little run. Uh, Lost a tough game against Boston overtime in the playoffs, so um, it was fun. I actually was going to go to Detroit again, but they were picked, so I had to go to go a different route. And sweets, we're going to get right back to that uh, copy and paste that you was worried about. Centaur, where are you going from Madden twenty five? And hey, we're going back home to the Saints. Back to the Saints. <laughs> That's your squad. Yes, sir. Like, 
It's just who he is, right? But when you look at that roster, Centaur, what, what's the first thing you got to change with the Saints? Um, cutting Derek Carr. Get him out of there. <laughs> get rid of him. Yeah, but and do you Cam have, Jordan, both of them do you have a quarterback on that roster, though, if you get rid of Derek Carr? Who is playing quarterback? Yeah, we're going we to try out the two young young guys in season one and uh, see which one pan out to move forward for the rest of the cycle. Um, if none of them pan out with the game, then got to hit the draft or see what's there in free agency. So, yeah, you got the guy from South Carolina there, uh, Rattler, right? That, yep. that that might be a good little pick, Bus. You like that guy, the young guy, quarterback? Obviously, his rating's not going to be very high coming out the, out the box. Uh, like you said, his ratings won't be that high. But you know, I'm always I'm a firm believer of if you got a guy you kind of like, you got to play yep. him to develop him. You'll never yep. know if you, if you just have him sitting on the bench. So. No, that's true. That's 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 a great, great commentary right there. We'll see if Centaur can build that guy up. All right, Centaur, we'll let you get back to your day, man. Appreciate you jumping on and announcing that you are going back home to New Orleans. Go enjoy some food and enjoy those Saints. Appreciate that. Next up, it's Never Quit and Bust. This was a phone in. Yes. Never Quit phone in. All right, where is he going for Madden Twenty Five? This is another guy that's just staying home. Um, I don't think he's renovating for a bigger place. I think he might be downsizing a little bit. <laughs> he might get ran up out of Tampa Bay with them guys with, with Centaur over there and uh and Noop over there. But he he's he's staying in Tampa Bay, man. Staying in Tampa Bay. Noop there, Centaur there. That's gonna be an interesting division. See uh those guys beat up on each other. All right, let's just move on to the next one. And it's Sweets 99. It's time for your pick, sir. And your team is on the board. You said you said if your team's there, you're gonna take your team. Are you going to back to New England? Man, it's a whole lot of options out here that I didn't think I would have. <laughs> Golly. I mean, uh, take your time sweets. You know, Bus and I can talk for a minute while you try and decide whether you want to take the, the Patriots or you need to go a different route. Bus, uh, you think he's going back to New England? He's looking at some of these teams, licking his chops, like. Um, he probably will. I hope he don't. You know what I'm saying? I hope he come fill up one of these teams in the, in the, in the NFC North. The Packers there. They got a nice little young squad in, in Green Bay. You got the Vikings. Got a nice little young squad in Minnesota. I'm a lot of good them, teams. Hey, hey last time scared, I left. If you scared, say you scared, bro. Last time I left. If you, if you scared, say you scared. I won a couple bowls last time I left. Yeah. But the real thing is, I got to stay home and win the bowls. I mean, we staying home, dog. Give me the pass. No surprise there. Appreciate Mr. Copy and Paste himself taking the <laughs> Patriots again. Uh, Sweets, who's playing quarterback in New England? Me. I'm playing quarterback. <laughs> uh, listen, listen, listen. A.K.A. Jared Lorenzen. Listen, hey, hey, big snacks, baby. Let's go. R.I.P. Hey, but listen, um, we got Joe Milton as a third quarterback right now. And if he don't have 99 throw power, I, I ain't going to be happy. Yeah. But we definitely rocking with the we rocking with the rookie, man. We building them up. We're going to be a Super Bowl team this year, for sure. Hey, no more Mac Jones, baby. Woo. No, I'm so happy no, about more, that. no more Mac Jones. Uh, is the big homie picking next bus? Uh, his his brother is calling in for him, I believe. Oh, old skill trade, but we already know how they operate. Mm. So, so we put the timer on. You got uh, your timer is about to run out. You got one minute to make to, for the big homie to make his selection. If you're a fan of the big homie, a skill trade. Or because I've always thought they was the same person. Uh, go ahead and reach out to one of those two personalities and let them know they pick is up. They about to get skipped. Some good teams left on the board. They're not going to be able to pick. And, uh, you know, sweets, this happens every single live draft, right? You get that one guy that, you know, you announced that the draft is at a certain time. You know what pick you are and you're not ready. Why, does that surprise you every year? Look, man, I know that carnival uh, uh, internet package is, is a little expensive. I wouldn't pay for it myself. You either got to choose the internet package or the, or the unlimited drinks. And, I, you know, <laughs> sometimes you got to go with the unlimited drinks. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go based off of his picks he sent in, Bus. Uh, where's the big homie going? 
Oh, man. Based on his <laughs> low ass picks, he going to the damn Green Bay Packers. What? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey. <laughs> hey, sweets, sweets. Probably about four or five picks ago, we had we had one of the OGs, Bruce Bruce, on the show, and the thing he re- requested was that everybody in this division was easy to schedule with. Uh, did he get what he wanted, sweets? Oh man, this this is all that positivity. Just the air went out the whole room right there. <laughs> it, it did. My man, all four my damn time. I mean, Tyler Bus got all of them flat. Hey, Shay, hey, we hey. have we have a um, audible. We have a audible. Okay. The bills. Okay. No, Ooh. what the fuck? I mean, Ooh. so the big homie, the big yeah. homie is switched. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Damn, bro. What the hell? All right. The first, the first switch up, he ran his card up to the podium, realized he didn't know how to spell the bills. He spelled Packers. So he had to run back and get his pen and re scratch that out and write the bills down. So, uh, Sweets 99, you was just laughing at the bus because he had to deal with that. But now he comes to your division. How you feel about scheduling twice a year <laughs> with the pick homie? Oh, man. I don't know, but I feel like Embro has something to do with this. But, you know, we'll, we'll let it ride. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> a- Embro, a.k.a. Lovey Smith, I appreciate you, my dog. If you had anything to do with this, you ain't even in the league no more. You still playing for the Bears, baby. Let's he did something, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he, he told that pick. He was like, oh, hell no. Yeah, ain't no way you taking my pack. All right, next up, we got someone live on the show. Fab in the building. What's good, my guy? What's up, fellas? My fault, man. I, I had to find the uh, unmute button. <laughs> you good. All right, Fab. You got pick 16. The first, your first team that you wanted, are they still on the board? Nah, man. My, the team I wanted was the Patriots, bro. I'm a, I'm a hometown team guy. I was hoping that at, at 15 I'll be able to get him, but man, Sweets is a dog, so he, he deserves it. No, he don't don't hype him up. He don't deserve. It. He should have gone somewhere else besides them Patriots. Uh, he should have he should have done something else. But uh, all right, Fav, let us know where you going for Madden twenty five. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I am going to take my towns to the Arizona Cardinals. Wow, Bus, you, you got a question for Fav with those Cardinals going here at pick fifteen? Yeah, man. Um... As far as the call, well, I, I guess I gotta ask, why, why did you, why did you pick him? Like, what, what did you like about him? I guess besides Marvin Harrison Jr. But yeah, no, um, I don't like Kyler Murray at all. However, their team is pretty balanced. They're, they're getting a, a pretty young defense. Um, they still have various numbers of picks. Um, Marvin Harrison is obviously a dog, and then you pair him up with the other receivers they have. It, it's, I mean, it's, it's. I love passing the ball, so passing it to a whole rookie the entire cycle is gonna be good. Um, and not only that, I got to face uh, OG Murray again twice a year, which was which was definitely fun, man. Those those matchups were were something something crazy at times. So I'm definitely excited to take my talents to to the NFC West again and have those showdowns. Yeah, that's that's uh, it's a pretty good team. You, you mentioned you don't like Kyler Murray, so uh, <laughs> is he going? Is he available right out the gate? No, I'll definitely I'll definitely start him until his uh, contract runs up. Um, obviously, I'll be playing to, for playoffs every time. But if somehow I I do bad the first season, I'll definitely go uh, quarterback first round and then have them do a little quarterback boy like uh, Force used to have with his five quarterbacks he had on his roster. Sweets, <laughs> does uh, does the Cardinals going this high? Does that that surprise you? I figured they'd be in the bottom tier this this draft. I mean. I think he did his homework. If you look at them, they are a young team. They got some possibility of being great, man. So with the right user and, you know, stick skills, man, I think they'll be all right. So it's a good little thing to go just right here in the middle if you can build them up. All right, fam. Appreciate you jumping on the show. Good luck in Madden 25 with those Cardinals. We'll let you get back to your day. Next up. It's vitamin and vitamin, obviously a call in a phone. I mean, a phone in. He sent his pick in and uh, bus. Where's Vitamin going for Madden twenty five? Damn, I see where he's going, but I, I thought he was uh actually calling in, but I don't see him. In oh, the, he's uh, right here, Vitamin in the building. 
All right, I mean, what's good? Boy, Viking, what's going on, expert? What's up, buddy? Boy, Viking, Viking just snuck in there. Okay, okay. All right, man. You had the Chiefs last year. Obviously, the Chiefs not on the board, so you can't go there. So, uh, for Madden 25, where are you going, Mr. Vitamin? Yeah, man. Actually, there was a little bit of confusion, man. So, um, I text type where he told me the team that I wanted wasn't there, man. But I actually wanted the Colts. So, I don't know if that's still possible, man. So, I don't think nobody took the Colts yet. So, I want the Colts, nope. coach, man. Nobody got the Colts yet? Nope. Yes, nobody sir. got I the Colts? Yes, sir. I take them Colts, man. Anthony Richardson, <laughs> young offensive of line. Going to go into Indianapolis. You got Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. I mean, that offense is a weapon across the board. Uh, that defense also gets after the football. This is a pretty tough division, though. You know, when you look at, at the Colts, are you excited of, of getting in some of those matchups here in this division? Yeah, absolutely, man. I believe uh, Force got the uh, Texans, man. So, yeah. man, him always have had good matchups, man. Look forward to playing against that guy, man. We always have good games. So, yeah, yes, sir. Obviously, the Jags and the Titans still on the board. No Derrick Henry in Tennessee. We, I figured they'd drop a little bit. But, uh, Vitamin, do we see you back winning the Super Bowl with the Colts? They got a pretty young team. They, you could build on that team really easy. Man, I'm just going to echo y'all sentiments, man. I'm an old dude, too, man. Just trying to make the damn playoffs and chill, man. So, you know, <laughs> if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Just want to have some fun with the fellas, man. Boy, the Super Bowl being played at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> like, we, we trying to get to bed early. We, we ain't trying to stay up know, too late right? at night. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, Vitamin, appreciate you jumping on the show and announcing your pick. Good luck with those Colts for Madden 25. All right, man, appreciate y'all. All right, next up, it's Dub. Please tell me Dub called in. Man. Uh, Dub, Dub said he's at some kid's birthday party. Oh, Lord. Not even, not even his kid. So, oh, man. You know, I ain't going give him, to give him no, uh, no, no out on this one. <laughs> All right, Bus. Where is Dub going for Madden Twenty Five? Um, it looks like you know y'all just swap places, man. He he going down there to the Doodoo Brown Brown. <laughs> so I get his Forty Nine ers. He takes the Browns. Just a little swap. Uh, don't worry, Dub. I cleaned the office out before I left, so you don't have to worry about that. It'd be, it'd be ready to go when you when you drop in town. All right. Next up, underrated in the building. What's good? One of the OGs in the building. Hey, what's happening, y'all? All right, man. Hey, uh, sweets. <laughs> you know, just just a common theme here. Underrated. Where are you going for batting twenty five? Well, um, looking at the uh, the way things were, I was like, well, I wanted to just chill this Madden cycle. I didn't want to, you know, get into one of those uh, divisions where guys are like. Their Madden IQ is a lot better than mine. They can have the wide receiver run this route, and then they know for sure that my safety is going to come down to the box and just wide open, something like that. So I wanted – I thought about going somewhere else, but then I was like, well, man, this is a different team. We got those new uh, yellow pants is back, gold pants. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going back to Washington. Uh, we're going back to Washington. Washington. Sweets. Sweets, what you got for underrated in Washington Commanders? <laughs> now, you ain't fooling no damn body. You know good and damn well we knew where you was going. And you got Jaden Daniels. So I know, I know you, you, it didn't take long to, to, to come on right back home. Man, I was thinking, I, I was going to go to that. I was going to go to that NFC South. If those Tampa Bay Buccaneers or the Saints wasn't taken, I was going to go to one of those and just shield the rest of the season, the <laughs> rest of the cycle. <laughs> I wonder if a lot of guys had that thought process. So let me just go to the NFC South, you know, play with the against the Falcons. The Saints <laughs> not going to be very good. The Bucks not going to be very good. Let me pay it. Let me just go over there and hang out for a little bit. <laughs> I yeah. like it. Going back to the Washington Commanders, got a young rookie quarterback. He's going to be pretty nasty coming out the box for the for the Commanders. Uh, you know, got a good, nice little running back tandem over there. We'll see what they do, though. Are you excited about Washington? Or are you like the rest of us? We just trying to enjoy these games. And if I make the playoffs, I make the playoffs. Yeah, I just want to enjoy the games. I'm going to try to be competitive like I always do. But, you know, we'll see how it works. 
I'm here regardless. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I remember, Bus, we used to have this show, and people would come on here and be like, yeah, I'm finna win the Super Bowl. I'm taking my team to the yeah. championship. <laughs> now, yeah. now we 10 years deep into this league, and it's just like, man, I hope I can play 16 games, 17 <laughs> games. I, I hope hey, I'm going to win. <laughs> this is the AARP League, boy. <laughs> please make sure you have your card ready and standing by your car when they show up, please. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Uh, all right, Underrated, man. Appreciate you jumping on. Let us know where you're going for Madden 25. Good luck with those Washington Commanders. All right, next up, it's the homie JB in the building. What's good? What's happening with you? All right, oh, JB. Oh, what's up, your, JB? Your Texans is yeah. gone. They went number one. Did that surprise you that your Texans was, was picked early? I already knew they was going to be gone. I wasn't worried about them. <laughs> the Texans got a lot of talent, so they go number one to Andy Force. So, uh, JB, let us know where you're going for Madden 25. So, we're going, we're going to uh, black and blue. We're going to the Carolina Panthers. Oh! Ooh, yes, sir. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? That was uh, that was C. Rob's heart. He, it just it just exploded. Y'all didn't hear that? Yeah. That's crazy. Right Sweet. before his man pick too. That's tough. <laughs> like one pick before his pick, <laughs> this man <laughs> took the Panthers. Uh, you know, this kind of got those. Uh, remember when Farquad took the Falcons? <laughs> Noob <laughs> didn't get the Falcons. Noob had to play with the Vikings. Why? Well, that's that's kind of what this got feelings. All right. JB, what is it about the Panthers that, that say, you know what, I can't I can't pass those guys up? The young on offense, young on defense. I ain't worried about uh Bryce Young. He, he gonna, I'm gonna let him go, so I ain't worried about him. But then also when I was looking at the division, I ain't gonna lie, I was licking my chops. Ooh. Okay, who's who's in that division that you like, oh yeah, that's a that's a guaranteed dub for me. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna say at the top. We're gonna go say new. Come on, then, man. Then, see, that's my guy, but I got, I got to. He got me one time in the past. It's been, he beat me one time in the past, maybe three, four seasons, maybe two times. But the rest of the time, I got him. And then Centaur is up. It's gonna be a battle. And then I ain't yep. worried about who. I ain't worried about. And then what's the other guy? Never, never, never quit. quit. Uh, it would be a battle, but it's cool. It would be all oh, right. JB, JB running that division? Is that what you're telling us? Yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm going to run it. <laughs> hey. I like it. I like it. JB not part of the old head group yet, even though he part of the old head group? I've been with I, I, I probably there. I've been in the league since, what, since they've been going. It's been a long time, man. Good luck. Good luck with those Panthers. Them, them uniforms is fire down there. Mm -hmm. At least, at least them Panthers will look clean when they get on that field. <laughs> well, we All right, JB. <laughs> All right, JB. We're gonna let you get back to your day. Uh, next up is C. Rob Sweets, and uh, C. Rob is, is, is Panthers is gone. So uh, where's C. Rob going, Sweets? Man, listen, I. <laughs> I'm just kind of shook that if you were to tell me the Jags, the Packers, the 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 Vikings, the Chargers, the Bengals, the Steelers, like are still left. These is quality yeah. teams, man, with good quarterbacks. It's crazy to see this. I can't see where C Rob goes. This this is I don't know. That's he, hopefully he's going team. to Los he's Angeles to, to take over the Rams. Why? Oh my God, it's terrible. <laughs> All right, Sweets. Why is that a terrible pick? I mean, it's just better teams there, but but you know, I mean, maybe he got his. I mean, his... But that's what you get when you don't call in, bro. I mean, I bet he yeah. would have never thought that I'm some a, other teams are there. I'm gonna give you his list: Panthers, Bucks, Saints, Bills, Texans, Rams. Oaks was gone. Lions gone. So the only team left was that's... on the list was Rams. That's all the teams. If I would have made my my list, that's all the teams that would have been in the bottom of their mouth. <laughs> Listen, he's just lucky the Rams were available because his whole list yep. is gone, but the Rams. Yeah, but I bet he wasn't expecting the other teams there. But Could you imagine though, know, if, if if nobody on his list was there, he goes automatically to the bottom until he calls yep. in or he lets somebody know. That's true. Yep. That's true. 
He got he got bailed out. The Rams is his choice. Uh, he's he's going to tune into this, or someone's going to tag him in chat. He's going to lose his mind. Oh, yeah. He punched in the air right now. Y'all y'all correct me if I'm if I'm wrong now. Like one of the I think one of the best things about the Rams is I don't think they're really cap trapped right now, right? Because I don't know what's going, and you got Stafford there, which you should probably just get rid of the first season. Or yeah, they probably the back to making picks now. Yeah, but, but they and just I think don't they got have... some of their picks back, but yeah. he gonna he really just... have to build that team. He just don't have no cornerstone though at all because yeah. Stafford's about to be out of here. Well, he got two good. He's got two good wide receivers there that still can go get the football. You know, yeah. I mean, he's got an aging quarterback, Donald Gone. I mean, it's, it's going to be a rebuild for sure. Definitely going to be a rebuild. We'll see they what Ciro does. Draft. Two, two guys from yeah. Florida State. They had a solid draft. Uh, yeah, so that'd be all right. All right, we'll see. Next up, Mister Billy Jones, and he's in the building. What's good, my guy? Billy Jones. Is he there? Yeah, he's in there. I can't hear him. Can't hear him. <clears throat> Billy, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. All right. He's got, uh, what's he got, pick 17, 18, no, I'm sorry, 22. Yeah, I hear you now. There you go. All right. You got pick 22 now. It, was your Is your top pick still on the board? Oh, Lord. See, this this is why we can't have nice things because <laughs> you get you get thirty two different guys and and then technology just don't work for everybody like it does for some of us. So listen, we're not gonna waste any time. Bus, can you hear me now? Hey, yeah, are you, you there? Go. Shit, I don't know what's going on with my microphone. You good? You good? All right, man. Is your top pick still available? No, absolutely not. Uh, who is, Cowboys who fan. is your number one pick? <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys, but uh, they were gone a long time ago. Uh, yeah, you might as well forget. Listen, as long as you're in the dynasty, I'm just going to let you know that team is never going to be available to you, sir. They they are a top, they are a top ten pick every single year, and typically a top five pick. So but we're you, going with the Minnesota Vikings. Ooh, the Vikings! All right, bus. This your division mate right here. What's the first question you want to ask, Billy? Um, the first question I want to ask you is, do you have the capability of turning that goddamn uh, ship horn off? That shit is loud as hell. <laughs> man, I wish I did. That shit's annoying, but... But other than that, man, who's your quarterback? Uh, we're going to rock with JJ. We're going to see what we can do with him. Uh, uh, the main thing is trying to figure out who our running back's going to be. I'm a runner, uh, so I'm, I'm thinking right now it's going to be Keen Wangwu, or however the hell you pronounce his name. But, yeah, uh, yeah I think that's who we're going with. Yeah. And JJ... Take the Vikings, though. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> hey, hey, all I can say is, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> it's pretty easy to schedule one. with. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. It's easy to schedule with Billy, so it, it, that, that definitely helps to bust out. Of course, somewhere right now, Bruce is is he's high fiving everybody that's close to him because <laughs> he he is just glad that those people are there for him. Uh, Billy, you got a pretty tough division now. You got two of the dynasty greats in that division with Bruce taking the Lions, Bust taking the Bears. Uh, does that excite you when the competition is on that level? It does. I'm ready for the competitive division. Uh, I want to prove what I've got in this game. I wasn't really able to do that this last se uh, cycle with the Chargers. Uh, defense was just mediocre. They let everybody through. Uh but yeah, we're ready for it. All right, man. Good luck in Minnesota. Appreciate you jumping on the show. Let us know where you're going for Madden 25. We'll let you get back to your day. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right. Next up, Mr. Bino, and he's in the building. What's good, Bino? What's good, family? All right. Doing? So the Eagles off the board. They was gone. Was that even – if the Eagles would have been available, you would have took them again? Nah, man. I had enough. I'm done. You had enough? We enough for Jalen Hurts? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay Bino so uh Madden 25 where are you going you, you don't like Jalen Hurts so your next quarterback must be amazing uh he gonna have a stronger arm for sure we gonna take yeah. our town right next to the bus right next to Bruce and Mr. Billy Jones we're going down to Green Bay mm. good pick plus, plus that's a good pick right you like that pick you want my honest answer 
Yeah, I do. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> Hell no. Nah. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. I ain't never seen nobody be hardwired on the internet and that shit be dropping like it's Wi Fi. <laughs> oh, dog, man. Tell me about hey, it. I had my, my you know, internet man come through trying to figure it out. He was perplexed, hey, you know, man. Hey, we, we, that, that weight list deep, my boy. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but, hey, man. Anybody, anybody, internet, anybody got to hey, look up? <laughs> all I ask is this get your internet fixed, respond. <laughs> don't, don't, come in, don't, don't come in with. Man, my, my bad family. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. Hey, Vino, uh, Vino. Vino, let them know you can only play after 9 o'clock. <laughs> I, I make some exceptions, but hey, first time that game dropped, I'm gone. <laughs> Already hey. All right, Vino, that's a pretty tough division you got there, Billy, with the Vikings. You got Bus with the Bears. You got Bruce with the Lions. Are you going to be competitive in this division if the internet holds up? I think so, man. I mean, when you look at the actual team, they got a lot of good and, you know, strong pieces. They got good cornerbacks. The offense is prime, really. They were a quarterback away. They shown that in, in reality uh, last season. So, hoping I could just develop them up, you know, and, and make a few good draft choices. And I think I'll be in a good spot for a long run. So, I, I do intend to be competitive for sure. We, so, who, who wins that division out the gate? Uh... I don't even know, man. That's a tough division. Uh, I'm going to take Billy Jones, the underdog, because I don't know what about him. I'm going to take the underdog. Listen, listen this, no this, this is the most politic kind of guy, right? <laughs> Sweets. Sweets, I know Bruce is your boy. Bus is your boy. Really? We take a Billy Jones? <laughs> hey, I know hey, all I, these other cats too long, so I need, I need <laughs> to see what Mr. Billy Jones got. Like a room material. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, we, don't even, we don't even have a picture of the Lions, Vikings, or Packers in our locker room. It's the Patriots with sweet space on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, Vino. Man, appreciate you jumping on. Let us know where you're going for Madden 25. Good luck with those Packers. I yes, fucked, sir. almost fucked up by four. Times. All right, next up, it's Mickey. Mickey in the building. What's good? Hey, what's good, man? All right, man. There's a lot of good teams still on the board. Uh, are you surprised that this team is still there? Bro, I'm so surprised, man. I, the disrespect is unbelievable. <laughs> it's true. I, I, I can't disagree with you. So let everybody know what team got disrespected all the way down here to pick. What you got? Pick 25? 25. 24? 24? I don't know. It's late. <laughs> I tell you what, though. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead, going back to Queen City, the real Queen City. Cincinnati Bengals. All right. The Bengals are here at pick 24 suites. Why are the Bengals still available on this board? I have no idea. I would have never thought the Bengals would be here still. And to be honest with you, I've, I've been in the league with Mickey. I think going back to when OBJ was on the cover, like, and he had the Bengals back then, bro. Like, it's been a long yep. time. I can't believe that he's sitting at 24, 25, whatever. And got these bangles, man. So it' gonna be yeah, nice. Crazy. I know. All right, Mickey. What what is it outside of of Joey B that uh, you're excited about these bangles? He took the burger out. Uh, well, first off, it's home. You know what I'm saying? It's the nice hometown. Yeah. Thank you. Then we got. I mean, we got Jamar Chase. We got uh, man. We just got Kaseki. Our defense is loaded. Debt, you know, it's it's, it's a mad ready team, bro. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about it. Now, you're in a tough division now. In a tough division, you got Vandy Champ, still got those Ravens. What you think about that matchup going against one of the top users in the league? Uh, bro, you know what I mean? I, like like uh, like Sweet said, man, I done, I done been at the bottom in so many leagues, bro, and, and just worked my way, man. I don't do nothing but grind, bro. That's what I do. I love to hear it. So you got you got your Ohio State Buckeyes in college football. You got your Bengals here in the Madden League. I mean, all this is kind of lining up for you. Uh, you know, pretty excited about playing with your two hometown teams. Oh, for sure, man. I, I'm, it's a blessing, bro. Yeah. Now hey, he might not need to be in ten, ten leagues no more, huh? <laughs> just, just it down to the I got my, I got my two teams. He might be good, man. <laughs> 
Now, I mean, Bus, looking for you, a home, looking for a home. So that's it, Bus. You know, when you take your hometown team, sometimes it's hard to make decisions. You think that's that's a downfall when you get your hometown team because you're kind of tied to some of these players? Yeah, it's, it's it's always a downfall, man. However, you know, as myself, I've dumped, I've done it numerous times, man. So I've gotten to the point where I know who I need to let go and when I need to let go. Yeah, so it's cool. I don't know how being how uh, Mickey operates with that. Maybe. If he's gonna be under a lot of pressure because we all know we play owner mode. I'm just giving out some free chicken right now. We all, we all know we play on a no, on a mode. You gotta know when to uh, let people go. So you can't be holding on to Chase till he's 100 years old making 300 million. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good show. So, Good show. Hey, Mick. Gotta, you, yeah. you, still cut, you still cutting hair, Mick? Good turn around. I know you're yeah, so, right now. Oh, I'm sending all my Chicago Bears down there to get haircuts the, the, the day we play. <laughs> Yeah. He's gonna keep Mickey busy right before the game. <laughs> uh Mickey, you think that'll be a problem for you when you start looking at this roster and uh you know as as a Bengal fan be difficult to let some of these guys go? Yeah. Uh man, you know, man, it's business, man. It's all good. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. All right, Mickey, man. Appreciate you jumping on. Good luck with those Bengals for Madden 25. We'll let you get back to your day. I guess a blessing. All right, man. Next up, champ time in the building. What's good, my guy? Let me see. What it do? Right, Yo, what's good? Yeah. All right, man. Ooh, so, you at the bottom of the list. Is, you know, there's the slim pickings left when you start looking at your team. So, you kind of kind of start looking at some of the talent. Maybe you start looking at the divisions. What what, what made you choose this team that you're picking? Was, was it the player personnel or are you looking at maybe some of the matchups? Uh, well... Pretty much personnel. Um, like when you don't finish well in uh, high states, you don't really have a choice for real about who you picking. So you have to go about who uh, fits you the best, I guess. Um, so this team that I'm picking, I feel like they have a very young core um, for the most part. Um, but they also have some older players who can get it done as well. Um, so my pick is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, mm. I like it. I like it. Sweets, what you got for champ time picking those Steelers? Hey, I like this pick right here. This is this is a solid pick. Champ, but I gotta know who gonna be the quarterback, who gonna be the starter at quarterback week one, bro. Oh fuck uh Russell Wilson. So anybody who, who need a quarterback and they want Russell Wilson, <laughs> they bro. just gonna get him for pennies on the dollars, you know what I mean? But uh yeah, um, you know, I'm from Georgia. Shout out to Justin Fields. I wish it would have worked out for him at Georgia, but uh I'm gonna go with Justin Fields uh more than likely. Unless something crazy happened with his razor, so I might have him returning kicks too, like they had him on on the uh, the trail. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. Don't disrespect Fields like that. I thought me and you already had a trade trade set up though. Boy, for that trade, yeah, man. You ain't hear about it? Uh, nah, we can talk though. Oh, you know, okay. hey, hey, you know me though. You, you ain't gonna like my conditions. My trade condition, you ain't gonna like it. <laughs> Champ said he's not finna give up Justin Fields for free. You gonna have to pay for that. Okay, well, Justin Fields at quarterback. Russell Wilson has officially become available after the first year. Obviously, you can't trade in the first year, but uh, if you need a quarterback after that first year, Russell Wilson is available. Mr. All In himself. Uh, him and Sierra looking for a new home. So appreciate Champ time coming on. Champ, uh, you gonna be success? You gonna be uh, competitive with those Steelers? See, I don't know, man. We just trying to find our way, bro. So I don't. I really don't even know who in my division. So um, shout out to y'all boys, but we'll see. I guess when it when it get here. Well, we'll we'll post all that very soon. You'll get to see who the division is. But man, appreciate Champ time taking time out of his day to jump on the show and announce his pick. Man, good luck with those Steelers. Uh, next up, this is now, Bust, we did a show, and everybody picked this guy to finish last. Yep. Had a pick. And, and Eric really fought for that high stakes. Now, he's not picking high on the list, but he ain't picking last. Eric in the building. What's good, my guy? I'll mute yourself, Eric. Yeah, he in the middle of a game somewhere. Uh, so, Sweets, this... this this was a guy that we picked to, to pick 32, obviously. Uh, let me see what pick he got. 28. Oh, there we go. Can y'all hear me yeah. now? He got 26. Eric, what's good, man? Pick 26. Were you, were you excited <laughs> about pick 26? I know everybody picked you to pick last in this in this division, yeah, in this league. Everyone thinks I'm going to finish last. I don't finish last. 
He's usually the second from last or further up. Never last. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let us know where is Eric going for Madden Twenty Five. I'm going to Denver Broncos. Hey, hey Broncos. Okay, Bus. What you got for Eric and them Denver Broncos? Man. All I can say is, man. Hey, play to your strengths, man. Run the ball. Stop throwing all them hundred interceptions, man. <laughs> you you can, you right, can beat a right. lot of people in in this league if you just play to your style. Man, I was running last season, but then y'all took my running back. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that, that probably was a self-inflicted. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it ain't never fun when you got to give up one of your best players. But the thing is, though, Eric, you start off really, really well throwing the football. I know we've played a couple times. It's like, man, Eric dotting me up over here. And then something happens in that third quarter, fourth quarter. I don't know if, like, you get excited because the game's almost over and you in it, but then it just seems like... You you try to give out you know you you Oprah over there like you get a pick and you get a pick and everybody gets a pick. What what is it about late game situations that just cause you to go off the rails? I just lose my focus. I got to keep my focus. I just got to take that you know mental breaks. Like you know I'm winning. Got to keep it keep it smooth. Run the ball. Pass every once in a while. You know play it easy. But I don't. You know one thing happens. I get a fumble. Next you know I'm just tilted. Yeah. Now. Who do the Broncos got at quarterback? They they gave up, you know, Russell Wilson. So who do they got at quarterback in Denver? I think they drafted, uh, what was it, uh, Bo Nix? Yep, Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Taking you to the promised land coming from Oregon. We'll see what Bo Nix can do. All right, Eric, what's the prediction for these Broncos? They're going to be uh, competitive? They're going to have a chance to win a division for the first time? You didn't see me in the playoffs this year. <laughs> hey. Oh, I like, I like it. it. I like Good that energy. Here. Right, you heard it right here on the live draft show. Eric said the Broncos in the playoffs at least one time for the Madden 25 cycle. I like it. So I'm gonna need everybody to take a vacation the same three weeks at some point. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Good luck with those Broncos. They got some nice pieces. We'll see what they do for Madden 25. Appreciate you jumping on the show. We'll let you get back to your day. All right, next up, Bus, it's, it's skill trade, and, uh, you know, we ain't, we ain't heard from skill trade, so you know what that means. He just drops down the slot, right? I, I think he's in the uh, thing. I think he's in the uh, chat. He on here with us? Um, no. Maybe he's no. not. He's not. He's not. We got his pick, though. So, he's going, well, once you once you uh, call me, I'll, I'll announce. Go ahead, Bus. Where's, where's skill trade going for Madden 25? Uh, skill trade is taking his talents to the boat city, some Chargers. Okay, okay. Chargers got a nice little squad still here available. Got Bosa over there. Got a nice little quarterback. Uh, Sweets, Chargers gonna be successful next year. Oh man. Uh, you know you still got a, a top quarterback, man. So they gonna be nice. But I kind of like how that division is uh kind of settling in. You got the uh, I forget who got the Chiefs. Uh, was it was it easy? Yeah, yeah, and then you got uh, Eric, and now you got Skill Tree. That might be one of them AFC South looking divisions where we think, oh, they ain't gonna do shit, and then somebody come out and, and actually ball. Eric might be in the playoffs, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. I like I mean, it. Skill Tree, though, I do. I mean, at least you're coming out. You got a quarterback. You ain't got a be picking the first pick in a draft and drafting a quarterback every year. You got yeah. somebody, you can stick with them. Now you can make that team better. I like it. Good pick for skill trade. All right. Now we got to get this next guy in here quick because I'm sure he got some event he got to go to. Flair in the building. What's good, my guy? What up? <laughs> What's going on, What's Flair? On? Man, we we appreciate you taking time from your celebrity life to, to come in here and hang with us for a couple minutes. We, we appreciate it, but, uh, still some good teams here, Flair. Are you excited about this team for Madden 25? I think the team's excited about me. Oh, geez. oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to the same team as last year? No. no <laughs> I ain't here. Flair, where are you going for Madden 25? Taking my talents to Duval. Oh, shoot. They still available? The Jacksonville yeah. Jaguars still available, Sweets. Sweets, what you got for Flair and them Jags? 
Hey, this is a good pick. I can't believe you picked them here. I don't think I... That's the top five team to me. I would have thought they would have gone super early. But, uh, yeah, Flair, what you excited about these Jags with, man? This is a top ten team. Okay. I don't know what's going on. This is one of the weirdest DML. I've been in a lot of drafts, but this one right here is different. Yeah, so man. Let me let me ask you something, uh, um, Flip. Will y'all will y'all make the games on time? Or y'all gonna miss a couple of games? How's that gonna go? <laughs> somebody is somebody handling like the flights and in the in the bus travel. Yeah, yeah, we good. We good on that. Okay. I think uh hold up, Andy West Coast, so that works out. I don't know who else is in the division. Vitamin. You got vitamin. Is it vitamin West Coast too? No, nah, I don't think so. Uh, I think he will he with you, I think. Well, who else is in there? Uh that's it right now. I think it's just two teams right now. Yeah. Two force? Force? Yeah, for yeah, that's why I say Andy. Yeah. Andy's West Texans, Coast. Vitamin, and yeah. nobody has the, the Titans yet. So, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, we good. All right. That's that's the East Coast guy hoping you on West Coast time because he can't play till midnight. So y'all better be prepared over there on the West Coast. I got it. Uh, Flair, the Jags. Yeah. Uh, I mean, defensively they got they got talent on that defense side of football. You just signed a quarterback to a big deal. You got a great running back over there. Came out of Clemson. Bust know all about that guy. Uh, can you be successful? I know we talk about this all the time. When Flair first came into DML, Flair came with receipts that he really didn't have and has never really panned out here in the DML. But do we see Flair finally make some noise here in the dynasty? If I'm not mistaken, I'm in the playoffs. When Flair first came into DML, he came with a lot of receipts that he didn't have. Talking about he was a champion and, and winning championships. Sir, making the playoffs don't mean nothing here. Are you going to win a DML Super Bowl, Mr. Flair? That was the question last year. Would I make the playoffs? Okay, well, you beat that. Now you got to go above and beyond that. Okay, let's let's say, does Flair even make a Super Bowl? Hey, no. look, man. Nope. Man, I don't want to kill nobody this year. <laughs> man, he, that I mean that division kind of tough, bro. I ain't gonna take no lie. Yeah, it's tough. Four. <laughs> you got the violence hey, over there with, with AR. Andy's Andy's the number one person in our division, so I ain't gonna front and be like, you know, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. take over. But outside of that, I can rumble with anybody else in the division. But Andy, he's he's above, he's a head and shoulders above everybody else. Yeah. If you beat Andy Force, does he does he get an obituary? He's a niner, no. Oh, he's he scared? A, he gets an ICU. He, he's in the hospital. <laughs> hey, okay. This makes sure you this makes sure you're on the right flight. Because I don't need you on the Michigan Wolverine flight going to an NFL game. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You need somebody to manage your oh, schedule. Yeah. Make sure yeah. you be on the right that, flight, that, that, right bus, going to an NFL game. That is that is true. I might make bring some NFL players to Michigan. I don't know if there's a penalty for that. <laughs> Flair, okay, so when you look at the landscape of the dynasty, who's that number one guy that you hope you can write an obituary for? Because you you undefeated with those. Uh, obituary. Who don't you have? Who don't you have? Um, man, if I tell them, they're going to be looking for it. But it was, it's one person that's just been escaping, escaping, escaping. But, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say it, but I'll put it like this. It's going to be very, very big because there's one person that's left that I really want to put one on. And it's going to be a man. It's going to be like New Orleans when they do the walk of the dead. Like, you know, the whole person. It's going to be like that when you die. <laughs> I don't want to tell him because, because he'll know. I, he might know, but he don't know. Listen, Flair, I promise you every user in this league knows when it's time to load up versus you. Listen, I sat, when you beat me, I sat here and was like, I'm, I'm finna be famous. I'm finna be, finna be, make me famous in the chat. Like, everybody knows, Flair. Like, just just go ahead and call him out. Let him know that, that you are the undertaker waiting on him. Because <laughs> it's going to hurt so bad, man. I might, I might, I might do a, I might do a, 
uh, wanted list, and I'll put it out later. But I, 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 I want that person. It didn't escape a couple of times, boy. Ooh, it didn't escape a couple of times. Yeah, but but yeah, it's gonna be big though. I want the impact to see. It. I want everybody to see the impact when it when it because it's gonna happen this year. I guarantee it. Oh my goodness! All right, shout out to the homie Flair, man. I know you got something going on today, man. Go enjoy the rest of your day. Good luck with those Jags for Madden twenty five. All right, y'all be good. All right, man. Next up, Mr. Cardoni in the building. What's good, what's up, guys? Happy to, uh, actually, be drafting and not yeah, sitting on the wait list like everyone said I would be for years. Yeah, it's uh, it's good. Well, you know, I think the introduction of college football really helped. We had some guys go over to college football that don't want to play Madden. So some slots opened up, but absolutely great to have you in the league joining the 10th year that we've been alive. And uh, let's just go ahead and talk about it. What team are you taking for Madden 25? Um, Man, I thought the Jags were going to fall to me, so that was heartbreaking. <laughs> uh, and then I was deciding between the Titans and Giants, but I'm going Giants because the Titans jerseys are just kind of really ugly, and I don't want to stare at them for a whole cycle. <laughs> And the Giants defense can uh, just kind of hold its own while you build up this offense. You got Dexter Lawrence, Thibodeau, uh, Banks you can develop into a stud. You also got Burns. And uh, mm -hmm. you also have neighbors on offense who will just be cheese if you develop them. So. Yeah. And McKinney. Or, that did in the, in the yeah. Oh, yeah. McKinney's gone. Yeah, McKinney left. Didn't he go to He's the Packers? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Green Bay. Mm -hmm. God, dang it. Bus, Bus, what you got for the Giants? Man, I, I really think the Giants is a, I think the Giants is kind of like a sleeper team. And y'all know me. I'm I'm a very I'm a person that likes defense. So you got Big Dex over there, Burns, Ibadu, uh, Bank, and you got a nice little defensive squad. And like he said, you got a defense that can hold you down until you're able to get the right pieces in place for your offense. I mean, you got your receiver there. Um tight end is it's Pretty so subpar, but you got to get you a quarterback and possibly a running back. Yeah, I think first off season it'll be uh, running back, and we'll just see if Daniel Jones can do fuck all. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough with Daniel Jones. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. It's gonna oh, be I tough. Yeah, because EA not gonna show him any love with his ratings. It's gonna it's gonna be tough. You have to build him. He's still pretty young to, that he can be built at least for the next four or five seasons. We'll see. Uh, you in a pretty tough division though. You got yeah. you got one of the one of the dynasty all time greats. You know he, he's up there in Super Bowl wins and hot tub. Have you had a chance to see him play? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I I can normally hold my own, and I like playing the best players because I mean if you have an easy schedule, you get to the playoffs, and then you're just don't know how to play yeah. anymore against the top players. You're just screwed. I'd rather get beat up in a division and learn how the league plays and uh, adjust that way. Well, you won't get that opportunity because you got some pretty tough guys in that division. But it's good to see the Giants off the board here. Uh, do you expect big things from this team? you think you could be uh, competitive out the gate or do you think it's going to take you a couple seasons to get some guys underneath you? Uh, I think I could be competitive out the gate. I think that's another reason I took him is you look at the rosters in the division. I think the Cowboys are weaker in some areas. The Eagles are our stud team, so they'll just be miserable to play no matter what. But the Redskins are a rebuilding team, too. So I don't think the roster is as far behind as it would be in other divisions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't say Redskins there. Oh, Commanders. My bad. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Uh, but let's 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 rewind a little bit. I'd love to hear what you think the Cowboys, why they had a roster, not the Giants close to the Cowboys roster. It's not close, but the Cowboys roster isn't something special to me. I don't think they got some playmakers on defense. You got to sign CD, Dak, and Parsons coming up. You're going to have cap issues, so people are going to fall off. I, I, I can I can see that for sure. We'll we'll see what Hot Tub does with that cap cap space. Uh, he'll probably get CD signed for him by by the Cowboys, and EA will have that part of the game. But he definitely has some some decisions to make. If you had to look at uh, outside of outside of your division, looking at this NFC, was there another team that you that you wanted to go to in that NFC that wasn't available? I mean, it'd be the Bears, but there's no chance in hell you're getting them outside the top five with how stacked they are. Um, and otherwise, no, I didn't really have my eyes on any NFC teams. 
Really I'm, I'm, I'm going to like this guy a lot. I'm going to like this guy, Bus. He just said the Cowboys was weak and the Bears was loaded. This is you, Bus. This, this the is, Bears this are is loaded for guys. a franchise hey. team. They haven't proven shit, but for a franchise team, they're very loaded. <laughs> hey, I'm going to say this. Uh, Cardoni is my guy, man. I play with him in another league. And as far as him being able to compete, I think he will very well be able to. I like compete. it. I like I it. want to see how, how, how he goes up against Hot Tub. I don't think hot, hot tub is good. I don't think it's the it's the hot tub that we used to see, you know. You know what I'm saying? There's been a decline there, if you ask me. But I think Cadoni is gonna come in here and, and you know. Well, hold it's, his own. you know, it's election season, so hot tub's working a lot more. So <laughs> yeah, you know, once once uh, once we have the new president, you know, it kind of calms down for him a little bit. He can focus more on Madden, but. Uh, yeah, especially after yesterday, he really don't have any free time. He's lucky uh, yeah. we're not playing Madden right now. So, but Cardona, we wish you all the best in New York. Excited to see what you can do with those Giants. Uh, we're gonna have to get you on the bye week and talk about those Giants in that first year. Be interesting to see what you do then coming out the gate. But uh, appreciate you jumping on the show, letting us know where you're going for Madden 25. We'll let you get back to your day. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, next up, Mr. Revival. He been in the chat just waiting. Been in the chat from the, the beginning, room, just sitting in the green room, <laughs> looking like Aaron Rodgers. Nobody wanted him. It's yeah. now your time, Revival. What's good? Not much, not much. Just chilling. Was at, you know at the park right now with the kiddos while they playing at the um, splash pad and shit, and listening to everybody uh, picking, you know, picking their teams, and me just hoping that a somewhat decent team falls down this far down. So, well, did a decent team fall to you? No, but <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but out of the two, I, I'd rather pick this team. Um, I, I, I've said it in the chat, and um, you know, I, I I I wouldn't pick that team. Like it would have to be given to me. Uh, I wouldn't pick them. So yeah. But uh, I I, my uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take uh, I'm a gambling man, so I'm gonna take myself to the Las Vegas Raiders, and. Uh, Go over there and see what Gardner Minshew is gardening it up over there and uh, see what we can do. Now, we talked earlier, Devontae Adams may be leaving town. Uh, are you hoping that you that you keep your top wide receiver there in Las Vegas or uh, you fine with him moving on to the next one? Honestly, um, I'm a I'm a rebuild guy. So to me, Devontae was going to be out the door regardless. I, I, I hope he's there so that way I can – uh, you know, at least utilize it for one year to kind of help that that offense because that offense is, is you know, kind of brutal. But, um, I mean, if he goes and we're able to get, you know, draft collateral for him, I'm, I'm good with it. If he goes just because he goes, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm, I'm just – I'm more or less, you know, uh, just happy to be a part of the league and um, jumping in so late, you know what I mean? Luckily enough, NCAA bailed a lot of us, you know, uh, a late bloomers coming into the, you know this league because if not, I'd probably be on the wait list with the other guys. So, yeah, no, for sure, definitely good to see some spots open up. Uh, you know, it's always good to see some new guys come into the league, try and bring some freshness, um, see what they can do with with the young teams, and then obviously build your way for Madden twenty six. Hopefully, you can move up and and pick a lot higher for the next draft, but. Uh, We'll let you get back to the day. You said you was out with the kids at the Splash Pit. Man, go enjoy the family. Appreciate you jumping on the show and announcing your pick with those Las Vegas Raiders. Guys, have All a right. good weekend. Yeah, you too. All right, last one. This was a call, uh, a phone in, correct, Bus? Yeah, this is a phone in, and um, I know the so last this, two picks don't show right. up on the graphic right now because of the um, small technical difficulties but um rebound picked the raiders and emo got his team picked for him yeah and he is the tennessee titans man the tennessee titans have fallen off have they not yes they have man i mean they lost uh henry they lost and derrick henry i don't know man i feel like whatever they lost they kind of gained back right because they got uh Tony Pollard. They got Pollard, yeah. but you Pollard's got, uh, not Derrick Henry. You know, you got a young quarterback with a big arm. At least, you know, you can try to yep. do something with it. Then you yep. got a sneed at cornerback. So you got a veteran corner out there. 
Yep. And they got better at O line. I mean, they O line is probably one of the better young O lines coming in just because of the they've been drafting in the top five the last few years. So it's a good franchise yeah. team to build. I feel like it could be. I didn't. I didn't. I don't think the Titans is that bad. I mean, yeah. I I like they, they those old Houston Oilers uniforms too. So and they got some nice receivers. So let let me ask you, expert. Let me ask you, sweets. Who did you think the last team was going to be? Yeah, I thought the Giants were going to fall there. I, I thought thought with you know the issues at quarterback, they were losing Saquon Barkley. Um, you know, obviously they had a big time wide receiver, but I just felt like that that Giants team, knowing that you have the Eagles, the Cowboys in that division, obviously we knew underrated is taking the commanders, that that was also going to be a tough division, maybe, you know, scare some guys away. I thought the Giants were going to be there at the last pick. What about you, Sweets? Uh, for me, it was the Rams. I kind of feel like that was a team that, uh, didn't have a lot of upside going for it just because they haven't been able to pick a lot of their picks in the last few years. Um, and maybe uh, maybe the Broncos, just because you got a lot of dead cap just getting paid out so people don't even play on your team no more. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, t- Titans aren't I – wouldn't, I wouldn't call them as a, as a last team. I kind of thought it was going to be maybe Raiders, Broncos, or, or uh, Colts, something like that, you know. Oh, even I, I will I will tell you this. If if the 49ers were not available at 10, I was taking the Colts. Yeah. They, they have yo, know, AR, you got, you know, I'm a Wisconsin guy, so they got Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. Yes, you know, they, they have they have a great defense. They have a great offensive line. I mean, that is a stat. The Colts really are a very good team coming out the box. Um, would be interesting to see what they what they do in Madden 25, but yeah, if the 49ers wouldn't have been there, I would have took the Colts. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you know my two co-hosts they took the same teams. They always take, so nothing surprising there. Bus been looking at the Bears since Madden 24 ended. So, and uh, Sweets Sweets tried to lie and say he was going somewhere else. Listen, on my list, I had the Lions on top of my my Patriots, and I kind of had uh, the Niners up there too, but. You know, they was gone. You got scared. And the Chiefs, the Chiefs too. I ain't get scared. What's scared? What you you got about? scared. Just say it. You what got I'm scared. scared <laughs> you scared of cup playing in the NFC North. That's it. That's it. He didn't want to go up there and play against Bus and, and Bruce. We get it. We get it. You go somewhere, do your nails, and then leave me alone. How about that? <laughs> All right, man. Let's let's uh, let's wrap it up. Give some give some uh, thanks out to to the guys. Appreciate everybody working on the back end. Tight work. The OG Chris Murray can't thank enough for my two co-hosts, Bus and Sweets, taking time out of y'all's day to jump on the live draft show. Always, always a pleasure when we get on the show and do this together. It's year ten for the DML. Bus, you got anything for the dynasty before we get out of here? Man, I just want to say uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. Um, thanks for just working with us as far as us. You know, I guess I can say. It's part of the media staff doing this for the first time. We normally have my man, Newt, who y'all know is Dr. Dre, doing yep. this stuff. But, you know, he was out of town taking a little break. And uh, I'm just glad we, we could get it done. Uh, it showed that we can work together, man. And, and everybody just, just look forward to playing NCAA, playing Madden. Uh, we're going to really try to continue uh, and, and maintain uh, getting content out. And because that's what, expert, you know, that's what DML yep. was built on. You know what I'm yep. saying? So I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm going to try to hold up my end of the bargain, do what I can do, and just give you guys a, a, a great league, man. No doubt. Sweets, what you got for the DML? Hey, man, shout out to Tight Work for his behind the scenes, man. We didn't hear yep. a lot from him today, but, man, he's working just as much as OG behind the scenes today. Yep. Yep. And um, also, guys, man, the more content, the better, dude. We're getting older, so we need something to keep our attention. Y'all want to jump on jump on a show, talk a little shit, or just just kick it, man. We can jump on a show and just talk DML. We can talk any whatever y'all want to talk, man. Just keep it going. Content is is what makes the league keep going, man. For real. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, I'll just piggyback off of that. Y'all be ready for the bye week. It will be back for Madden 25. So when you're in your bye week, I will be hitting you up to jump on the show, talk about your squad, 
And we're really going to try and get this content rolling again. Now we have two leagues. We're going to have college football content, Madden content. So we're going to ask a lot of you guys, if you want to talk about your squad, you want to jump on the show, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Even if uh, we don't reach out to you, that lets us know you're available. We would appreciate it. Appreciate all the guys that phoned in, jumped on the show, uh, made your pick live. I really do appreciate that. On behalf of the ML Network, your boy Sweets 99 and the bus is expert, and we out.